Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, March 26, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Madrid, Spain. Supply chain attacks are, of course, a big topic these days, and it looks like Kaspersky came across a pretty massive supply chain attack affecting Asus. Asus's life update utility apparently was backdoored and installed on probably more than a million of Asus's customers. Kaspersky itself detected it on 57,000 systems that were protected with Kaspersky antivirus. However, of course, that's only a subset of the total population of infected systems. So 1 million, I guess, is what Kaspersky extrapolated based on that sample of 57,000 victims that it detected directly. The malicious utility was available from ASUS's own website. It was signed with a valid ASUS certificate. So for the end user, there was absolutely no indication that anything went wrong. And this ASUS life update utility can, of course, install arbitrary software, can also update the BIOS on ASUS laptops. But this is not where sort of this story ends. Uh, now, even though a large number of users were affected uh, by this particular malicious update utility, it looks like only 600 specific systems were actually targeted by this system. So the attacker would have access to millions of systems, but they picked 600 specific MAC addresses that were hard coded into the utility that would then be targeted and subjected to malicious uploads. Now, while ASUS is the only victim mentioned in Kaspersky's report, they also say that there were three additional vendors that were targeted by apparently the same technique. These vendors are not named yet, but Kaspersky says that they did notify them. Not a lot of details yet. The article published so far is really more sort of a teaser in order to advertise the SAS 2019 conference at which Kaspersky promises to publish more details. Kaspersky also set up a website where you can check if your MAC address is one of these 600 targeted addresses. In the article that, uh, like I said, is fairly sparse at this point, they don't really describe if they think that these 600 addresses were picked for a particular reason. The backdoor version of the utility was available from ASUS's website until November 2018. Kaspersky did notify ASUS on January 31st. Up to this point, there isn't anything official from ASUS about this particular incident, which uh, Kaspersky says is one reason why they are coming forward now to inform the public about the problem. And Telegram is the latest messaging platform that is playing with a delete feature for messages that already have been sent and have been received by the destination. These features have often been requested by users and you probably have seen some stumbled attempts to actually do this with email. Some email clients offer the option, but it is often ineffective and sometimes even counterproductive in that it may draw attention to messages that you wouldn't really have opened in the first place. Now, with Telegram, it actually goes further in that the message is completely deleted on the source and the destination. Apparently, also all evidence like logs and such about the message are being deleted. And there is actually also no log that the delete happened. Now, while this is, of course, kind of against uh, trying to sort of provide a reliable messaging platform, it is somewhat in line with Telegram's idea of being a more private and also ephemeral messaging platform. Of course, there may still be ways to take screenshots of chats and the like, so I wouldn't 100% rely on this feature. And then we got updates for F5's big IP appliances. Now a number of vulnerabilities are being addressed uh, with today's update. The most severe one of them can actually lead to executing code as an administrator. It's a cross-site request forging vulnerability. 
So an attacker would have to trick an administrator to visit a website while the administrator is logged in to the admin console. The other vulnerabilities are for the most part denial of service vulnerabilities. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.